Okay, God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to make this video briefly explaining how the Lord showed me a while ago um, that uh, the rainbow, um, the significance of the rainbow having several colors had to do with race. I'm making this video because I'm not sure if I've shared this. I think I've shared bits and pieces. I'm not sure if I shared a whole entire video on it, but I want to make this very clear because there are a lot of saints, particularly saints who are of African descent um, among the wide expanse of saints, be it Vietnamese, be it K Korean, um, Russian, uh, uh, any form of European um, um, Semitic people, the African descendants are the only ones, primarily African Americans. You don't really see people from Africa, ironically. You don't see people from Africa with these issues, but African Americans have an identity crisis. And I'm gonna put it out there. One minute we're Native Americans, one minute we're the Egyptians. And when I say the Egyptians, because sure, Egyptians are Africans, but not all Africans are Egyptians. So one minute we're just like the Egyptians, one minute we're like, you know, Native Americans. Uh, we are a lot of, t oh, then, and then you got the word black. We're black, but meanwhile, black doesn't have a nation. Black doesn't have a country. All other people are named after their countries. Koreans are named after Korea. Chinese are named after China. Japanese named after Japan. We don't call them yellow people. Um, Native Americans are because this country is called America and they settled for that title. And so they call themselves Native Americans. Before that, they were just particular tribes. Um, you know, Africans are Africans, but overall they're whatever country they're from in Africa, same thing with Europeans, whatever country they are from in Europe. But when it comes to um, America, we're just either black or we're white. And over here, we tend to look at everything that it's either black or white. We don't even look at s people who are Semitic as a race, people who are from Lebanon and Israel. Um, we just look at them as just white, okay? Um, and when I say we, I mean, the country that we're from, um, of unless you're intelligent. I don't mean no harm. It's very stupid. I don't mean no harm, but it's stupid. Um, it's it's not historical. It's not biblical. Everybody in the Bible were named after their countries. Moabites were named after Moab people who are Moabites. They were named after Moab. Um, um, yeah, the list goes on. So anyway, um, my point for saying all this is that, you know, there was a political, there was a political move that European settlers, early European settlers, they, uh, they came to the conclusion, you know, because they wage war against each other, you know, France against England, all this kind of stuff. They were all divided. We were all divided, African-Americans, we were all divided um, as far as when we initially came from Africa. The Fulani people had many slaves. Um, there are many slave owners who are uh, Fulani people who had other African slaves. Uh, there, are, there are dominant tri tribes. There are, there are less dominant tribes. And it's all about power. It is, it's not about race. It's all about power. Native Americans had us in slavery. European, uh, 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 Italy had Russia in slavery and they had, um, some, um, I forget what part, of, what Africans they had in slavery, but Italy had slaves. Um, Italians, um, have, uh, African in them. Um, um, uh, Hannibal of Spain, uh, I believe he was from Morocco or something like that. They took over Spain and, you know what I'm saying? That they, um, you know, it's, it's, it's other reasons why some people are darker in Spain and, you know, and, um, in Italy is because, you know, 
the, the Mediterranean, plus they were taken over, stuff like that. Anyway, conquered, you know, people get raped, people have nations of people, uh, they, they, they pillage the land, they rape the people, stuff like that. Um, what I'm trying to say is that all this stuff been going on. It's just that we're like one of the last big moves of slavery. You know what I'm saying? African-Americans, we're one of the last big moves of slavery because slavery really publicly known, not legally known, but as of public record, slavery, the last known slaves were in 1963. Um, because, you know, um, the laws were still racist and, you know, saying you can't have a slave is like saying don't jaywalk. You know what I'm saying? Nobody really cared. So that being said, you know, this is the reality. This is just the reality. Slaves still exist. This is the reason why people were escaping slavery. I mean, they were escaping numerous things from the South. They were escaping numerous things from the South, numerous things. Um, that's why you got a lot of people in the North, um, you know, that are African and descendants like, uh, New York, DC, Chicago, St. Louis, um, you know, Cleveland, Cincinnati, all these places, uh, even LA, stuff like that. All this being said, uh, you know, I just want y'all to know that things been in rotation. It's not merely about race. It is race, but it's not merely about race. And and when I say race, I mean when it comes to slavery. Slavery wasn't because, oh, we hate these groups of people. We're going to put them in slavery. It was about power, okay? It was all about power. It was all about, you know, we came over here because of sugar, because of um, the sugar plantations and and. And it was lucrative for them to have people do the work. And so they were more dominant than us, um, you know, and so they took over at the time. You know what I mean? That's just how it is. Certain countries are able to take over because of the dominance. And everybody wasn't just uh, sold into slavery. Some people were forced into slavery through kidnapping because after they did the transactions with the officials in, the, in these countries, they also did kidnappings. They also continued to kidnap and stuff like that. And um and and in them um and in them kidnapping, uh they some of those were people who say, Well, you know, uh, Africans put us in slavery. Well, these Africans also were slaves. Okay. So when you say us, you're talking about them. And so because they the slave masters were also put in slavery. Okay. So when they say uh, or Africans put us in slavery. Well, you was already a slave. <laughs> you was already a slave in, in Africa, okay? <laughs> you didn't just become a slave to white people. You was already a slave in Africa. But see, you don't know that, so therefore you're going to look at white people as only the enemy. You were already a slave in Africa. And those slave masters were forced into slavery. So it's like there's really no culprit who, you know, you can just focus on, okay? Um, these are things that just took place. Countries were taken over. It's countries were pillaged. Um, and, you know, I just want to, I want to make that a foundational truth that people understand when it comes to history, documented history um, on my channel. I don't know about any other people's channel. But, um, and I will be making videos about Stephen Darby and about Yahweh Ben Yahweh because of this black Hebrew Israelite foolishness that does not come from the Holy Ghost. It comes from another spirit, okay? A mimicking spirit that mimics the Holy Spirit, okay? Um, and also that um, mimicking spirit of the Holy Spirit is also the Kondalini spirit. I want to put that out there too. Uh, but anyway, um, so yeah, uh, the Lord showed me a rainbow and explained to me that that rainbow, the reason for the different colors, represents a race. It represents the basically plethora of shades of people. It was just his way of, in a beautiful way, displaying his love for the people of the world 
and how that he won't destroy them again by water, okay? But this was the people of the world. The, these colors represent the people of the world, okay? These colors don't just, they're just not just mere colors. They're symbolic, okay? So I just want to share that with y'all because I'm not sure how many people have spoken on that. I'm not, I don't know who, you know, all spoken on that in detail like that, but I'm pretty sure, you know, God has spoken through people, through songs like, you know, Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world, yellow, black, and white, and rainbow. Like, you know, I think it was a rainbow song in that, like, yellow, black, and white, and colors in it. It's like, Jesus loves all the children of the world. So, like, you know, growing up, you know, you see the innocence of it, and you see the rainbows of the world and things like that. Um, the colors of the races of the world within the rainbow. Growing up, I grew up on that song because I grew up as a little child in church. And we grew up singing that song, Jesus Loves the Little Children. And we would see the rainbow and the different colors and stuff like that and different races representing the different colors. Okay, well, that song is true. That song is true. And it represents, you know, the different colors of the people of the world. Okay, whether there are people who are literally purple or not. Okay, the bottom line is you get the drift. Um... What else do I need to say? Oh, there was no race, okay? There was no race before Noah, okay? Genesis chapter 9, Genesis chapter 10, if you want to find out about race, okay? Now, why is Brother Jonathan so, so much of a genius? Why is he the one who knows that Ham is the father of the Africans? And why isn't it Shem? Well, first of all, the same people who were the races that were in the Bible are the same people who were the races now, okay? Maybe some people got some 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 mixture more in them, okay? Because people mix, okay? But that doesn't change anything. The same people who were the races then are the same people who are the races now, okay? Um, yes, I do believe that Egyptians um, have much Arab in them. That's why they speak Arabian. Hint, hint, okay? Um, and I don't believe, and, and Arabs are not the sons of Ham. They are partly the sons of Ham because they became a nationality after Ishmael, okay? Ishmael, the Ishmaelites are also the Arabians, okay? You'll find that in the book of Nehemiah, okay? It will, you'll see and read that the Ishmaelites are the same as the Arabians. And we obviously know that what makes a, what makes Ishmael, okay? Hagar, who was she? She was an Egyptian. His father, who? Abraham. What was Abraham? He was a Hebrew, okay? Hebrew, Israelite, were later called Israelites, okay? Um, so if he was an Hebrew man, a.k.a. an Israelite, which we know now because they transcended into that word Israelite, then who was their forefather? Shem, okay? All right, so we see with that that um, Hagar and um, Abraham did not come from the same um, forefather, okay? They came from two different forefathers. Who was that forefather for Abraham? Shem. Who was that forefather for Hagar? Um, Ham, okay? It's right there in Genesis chapter 9 and 10. We don't have to complicate things, okay? Egypt is still in Africa. <laughs> all the all the countries that are um, Semitic, they're all around each other. They're all surrounded by each other, okay? It's, it's, it's very simple. Um, all the European people, all the European countries are around each other, okay? They're all the sons of uh, Japheth. Well, how do you know that they're, how do you know that that's Europeans? Well, you got to go back and look at the names, okay? Tarshish is modern day Spain, okay? So that's a hint. That's just a hint. Tarshish is modern day Spain, okay? Then you got more names than that that I'm not going to get into, like Gomer, okay? But then you got, who else? You got, um, you got, um, 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 like I said, Egypt, okay? His forefathers who? Ham. Okay, uh, Ethiopia is still there. Okay, Ethiopia was a person. Egypt was a person. Ethiopia, aka Kush, 
uh, uh, Egypt, a.k.a. Mizraim, okay? Well, Ethiopia, a.k.a. Cush, his father's who? Ham. Ethiopians are st the same Ethiopians today, okay? So we need to stop overcomplicating things because Ethiopians are the same Ethiopians today. Their forefather is Ham. Their forefather is not Shem. Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, comes from the lineage of, of, of Shem, okay? Don't complicate this, <laughs> Don't complicate this foolishness. It's You're complicating it, okay? And then some people, perhaps maybe you're in this foolishness because you've never even lived in a city that had um, a great metropolis of races. So therefore, you know, you're closed-minded to knowing about races and you don't know about races. No races have changed since the Bible, okay? For one, okay? Just want to put that out there. There has been no... Africans have not became Israelites, okay? This Israelite, black Hebrew Israelite stuff, this wasn't discussed in the times of uh, Harriet Tubman. Why? Why wasn't Harriet Tubman? Well, we still have documented things that they've spoken about. Nobody said that they were, Af nobody said that they were, um, that they were Jews or nobody said that they come from Israel, okay? Frederick Douglass never said it. Uh, um, um, uh, what is his name? Um, what's that man's name? I can't think of his name at the moment. But there are people who are slaves. All the people who were slaves, go look at books, type in books of slaves, okay? Slaves who wrote books, okay? Uh, W.B. Du Bois, he never said that we came from the Israelites, um, what's the other one who, who was W.B. Du Bois' um, rival, uh, his scholar rival? I got to look it up real quick. Let me see if I can find his name. Because um, he wrote a book, and I like him more. Um, Booker T. Washington. I like Booker T. Washington more than I like um, W.D. W. D. Du Bois. And Booker T. Washington, you know, he never said that he came from Jews. Like, all this stuff is foolishness, Okay. It's all foolishness, okay? Even the black people who say that we've been here, okay, we've, we've been here. Okay, good for you. You sat on your ass waiting to be a slave. Good for you. There's no great documented history that you have to um, to speak about, okay? Every nation of, the, of people in the whole world have great history to speak about. Y'all don't have no great history to speak about, okay? Y'all don't have... Y'all don't have no great history to speak about. So good for you that you are already here. You sat on your butt waiting, looking like us. Okay, you're saying you're not African. You look like us, okay? You looked like us, okay? The artifacts of you looked like us. Good for you that you're not from Africa, but you sat on your butt. The Native Americans who 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 were your neighbors, they fled and you got caught and you, got, and you, st and you remained in slavery while none of the Native Americans did. Good for you. What a great history. I hope you feel great. I hope you feel wonderful about that you were already here. Okay. Where did it get you? What, what history do you have to fall on? Nothing. Okay. You don't have nothing to fall on. You don't have no Mansa Musas. You don't got no pharaohs. You don't got no, no great Ethiopian warriors. There's all great warriors. Even we got Shaka Zulu. He was a great warrior. He wasn't playing with nobody. Y'all don't got nobody to talk about. You got to create somebody. Okay. So enough with that foolishness. That stuff is foolish. Sure. Good for you that you were already here. It's like good for you. Like, come on. It's just across the water. Okay, good. And what? What did you achieve? What did you get from that? What? Waiting for us to come? Okay. What? You just waited for us to come? Okay. To, so you can be a slave. <laughs> like you should have gave us the route out. You should have showed us cuts to help us escape. Like anyway, it's just foolishness. I, I get tired of it because people like, it's like, who cares? You don't even have history to fall upon. You don't know no names. You don't even know anybody's names. You just got pictures of artifacts. That's all you got. <laughs> That's nothing to be proud of. And you got a large amount of people saying, that's where we really come from. We really come from here. We really, okay, all y'all is just, you know, like a shame. And then, and then you mean to tell me none of, you mean to tell me 
all of y'all who were already here, because they call them foundational American, African Americans or foundational Americans, and all y'all who was already here, you mean to tell me none of y'all mixed in with African descendants? None of y'all mixed in with us? <laughs> it's just foolishness. You come from slavery. None of y'all, ma they never made y'all breed uh, with other African slaves. You see how stupid it sounds? It's just so dumb. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's just so stupid. And then like, you know what I'm saying? Oh man, people say that we're the Jews. Okay, okay. Well, Jew is short for Judaism. Okay. What you mean? We're all f uh, followers of uh, of the Old Testament? Is that what you're trying to say? Okay. Or well, the, the other word for Jew means we're all um, from uh, Jude Judah. Okay. The Judeans. Okay. The tribe of Judah, which are the Judeans. Okay. So, so, so you mean to tell me all African Americans are Judeans, one tribe out of the other 11. Okay. That's what you're telling me. We're one tribe out of the other 11. It's just foolishness. You can't, you cannot entertain this foolishness. Okay. The Bible says that foolishness is sin. <laughs> Scripture says foolishness is sin. Okay. This is the reason why people start to delve to the left. They start to delve to the left. If, if the fork in the road met, if they met the fork in the road, they go to the left. They don't go to the right. Okay. They go to the left. Some people go to the middle where they're still foolish and they're still treading on some, 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 you know, some, some good teachings of Jesus. But a lot of people go to the left, okay? Um, and that, and, and, I, and I wouldn't want to go nowhere but the right. <laughs> I don't want to go down the middle on the fork of the road. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so like I said, this is an African-American issue. You will even see a few white people fall to this foolishness. They'll either say that Jesus is black and it's like, or they'll say that Jesus is white, but... It's just all foolishness. I've seen Jesus, for one. Let me just put this out there. Put this out there for the world to know. Whoever's looking at this video, okay? I've seen Jesus on three separate occasions, okay? Okay. Revelation 1, chapter... Uh, 1, chapter... Uh, verse 14. Is that 14? Um, is that 14? Really? Well, either way, um, it says that his head and hair is white like wool okay and then it says that uh his eyes are a flame of fire um listen man okay i seen jesus first of all a white person isn't isn't a race a real actual white person isn't a race i've said this before i'm gonna say it again an actual black person isn't a race okay you you've you've never really seen nobody just black like this color black like just black no, no, no hint of brown, no hint of brown, just black. You've, you've, you've never seen that. You've never seen that. And if you have, that's that one particular person, okay? You've never seen somebody as white as this, okay? And if you have, that's just that one particular person, okay? Look at my skin, okay? Do, is my skin black? Take a good look at it. Is my skin black, okay? No, it's not. Okay. I'm not a color, okay? I'm a nationality, okay? I'm, a, I'm, I'm from a race, okay? I come from a nation of people, okay? I'm not a color, okay? I have a color, but I'm not a color. I have a color, okay? This beard also has a color, okay? You know, you see that? That's, that's white, okay? okay? That beard is white and black, okay? Yeah, the beard has a color, Okay, you see. So, um, it's foolishness, and you can't entertain it. Like I said, scripture says foolishness is sin. Uh Shem, the forefather of all Semitic people. The word Semite or Semitic comes from the word Shem. Okay. To be anti-Semitic doesn't mean you're just against Jews. To be anti-Semitic means you're against all Semites, aka in this city, in this country, we call them Middle Easterns. Okay, um, 
you can see a video of Malcolm X being called anti-Semitic and making anti-Semitic remarks. And he speaks of the word Semite properly and says, how can I be anti-Semitic if I'm Muslim, which is a primarily Arab um, speaking uh, religion, okay? The majority of people who are um, Muslims are Arabs and other Semitic people, okay? So he said, how can I be anti-Semitic? Okay. Don't worry about what the Democrats and the and the American Jews are making into the word because that's an that's an American term, anti-Semitic. Okay, they don't have that word in, in, in overseas. They over there fighting. They all fighting. <laughs> they all fighting. They don't have that word anti-Semitic over there. Um, and it's like who who's going to be anti-Semitic over there? Because <laughs> they're all around Semites. Okay, um, Palestinians are Semites. Okay. <laughs> Israel versus Palestine, they're all Semites. So they don't, they don't use that word. That's an American word, okay? It's an American term. So we got to get out of the foolishness, okay? We got to get out of the foolishness, okay? Jews don't own the word Semite. Uh, uh, there is no African nationality that's still only speaking Hebrew, and that's their primary language, and that's the language that they know. There are no Africans speaking. There, there, where are they? Because the, the, the people who speak Hebrew still exist. Where are the Africans that are still speaking Hebrew? Where are they? Where are their children? Okay. It's foolishness, y'all. You need to wake up, man. Because the people who have been speaking Hebrew are still speaking Hebrew. Every race that had been speaking the, ra the language that they spoke initially are still speaking that language. Okay. Why aren't we? Okay. Why aren't we? Okay. Because... The Africans are still in Africa, okay? So why aren't they speaking Hebrew in Africa? Why aren't there uh, countries? Of, there's more Africans speaking Arab than they are Hebrew, okay? So it's a wet paper bag you got to fight your way out of, and it's going to be very hard. It's a lot of holes in that, okay? Also, Arab is a very closely related language to Hebrew, okay? I'll repeat, Arab, okay? The majority of Semite countries speak Arab, okay? Um, because they all are primarily Muslim as well. And they, Arab, the, the Arab language is a, a related language to Hebrew, okay? There are a lot of things that you can say in air in Arab that are pretty much the same, if not the same, in Hebrew. Okay. Just like how, you know, you can speak Spanish and not know Portuguese, but you can talk to people who speak Portuguese. Okay. Um, just like English in Britain isn't the same English in America. It's not the same English, okay? They don't have our English. They speak, we could talk to them, we could communicate with them. You see, it's like that, okay? Portuguese, they have a different language, but they can speak and communicate with people who are Italian. Italians can communicate with people who are Spanish. These people who can, these people can communicate, why? Because their languages are similar. People who speak Greece, they, they can communicate with Italians, okay? They can communicate with Spanish people. They have language, they have languages that are related, okay? They don't have as much language barriers and find it a big, great coincidence that they live all near each other, okay? Find it a great big coincidence, okay? It's foolishness, y'all. It's foolishness, okay? It's the same thing with Hebrews. It's the same thing with Hebrews speaking Hebrew. And, um, and also, let me say this. People who act like, you know, they're the, the, the Israelites are a special race, they're not a special race. They were a special race. That time has been outdated, okay? Get an update, okay? We are all one now. We're all the elect now. You didn't you didn't get your update? <laughs> you're still you're still thinking that you if you're still thinking that the Jews and the Hebrews are God's special people and you're not 
applying that to a spiritual sense when it says that, that we're even more Jews spiritually than they are if, it, if we are spiritually if you didn't get that grasp that and hold on to that and, and focus on that alone you didn't you didn't update you didn't get your spiritual update <laughs> you didn't get your spiritual update you might as well go sacrifice some goats and lambs and sheeps he already said in the book of Isaiah that he, he he didn't even find nothing great about them, okay? There's nothing great about the Hebrew people, okay? There's nothing great about them. It's just that he had a, a covenant with Abraham, okay? And so because of his covenant with Abraham, you know, he blessed Abraham's lineage and his seed and had a covenant with Abraham and his seed. Uh, he had a covenant with his seed through Abraham, though. But it's it's not because of them initially only like no 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 no. that's why that's why why do you think john the baptist said and don't go around and saying that your father's abraham okay so it's a lot of foolishness in the in in this topic it's a lot of foolishness in this understanding um ethiopians are ethiopians still okay uh fulani people are descendants of ethiopians okay i repeat fulani people are descendants of ethiopians and if you're having a hard trouble finding out that fulani people i mean ethiopians are african like man you got it real bad if you don't if you if you if you're having a hard time grasping that ethiopians are africans okay if i show you a picture of my grandfather you would think he's ethiopian okay matter of fact i might make him the thumbnail you know what i mean i might just make him the thumbnail you, you might be thinking that my grandfather's ethiopian okay listen yeah. ethiopians are just as African as you and me, okay? Um, so, and their father's ham. So, why ain't your father ham? <laughs> uh, explain to me what race changed. Break it down. Explain to me. What race? Comment in the comment section. What race changed? When did they change? How did they change? Did their language change? What changed? Explain. Break it down. I let... I never have seen a race change, okay? Now, a race can start to um, mix, but they don't change, okay? Okay, now, here's a good one. Israelites speaking Yiddish, okay? Well, guess what? That's for those particular Israelites because Scripture says that Israel was scattered across the world, okay? So there are. that's why you'll see some people who look European descendant, and they said that they they said that they're uh, Jews of of Israeli descent. Why? Because Israel were great whores. They slept around with every nation. They slept around with everybody. They're sleeping around to this day. They're whores. <laughs> they're very whorish. Okay, and the, and they were getting called that by Jehovah Himself because they were sleeping around with everybody. Okay, and they slept around with everybody so much that. You've seen them mix with other races, okay? Egyptians um, and, and, and Hebrew people got the Arabians. That's where they come from. The Arabians come from that mixture. And then you also got um, the Yiddish people, Polish. That's that's Polish people who are mixed with uh, the, the Jews, okay? So anyway, and they speak Yiddish, but Yiddish still has Hebrew in it. Okay, so we need to start thinking about some things, making some sense out of stuff because everything's still going on is going on right now. Yiddish is still here. Okay, Hebrew is still here. Okay, why isn't there an African language that's mixed with Hebrew? Why isn't there just a, tons of Hebrew, uh, African people speaking Hebrew? Okay, uh, why, why aren't the foundational African descendants or whatever? Or well, people say, we're not African, we're Hebrews. Okay, well, we're, we're, we're the Hebrew speaking people. Okay. And where did you learn how to speak it? Okay. Where were they at in the 30s? Where were, they, where were these African descendants or whatever you want to call these people? Because you might want to say black, right? Okay. Well, where were these people at speaking Hebrew in the 30s, in the 1900s, in the 50s? Where were they at? Because everybody's still speaking. Matter of fact, we've created a whole new language to, to throw off the um, slave masters. So, so you know, we, pig Latin and other languages. So, wh what happened? 
Where, where's these languages? Because we created languages to throw off the slave masters. Where, so where's this Hebrew? Okay. There, there, there are African descendants. There are slaves from Africa who came here speaking Arabic. Okay. There's a Fulani slave who was documented. They took his picture. He was highly respected by slave masters. Um, they gave him good paper to write on. He had excellent penmanship. They said he came from wealth and he spoke fluent Arab and he even wrote in Arabic. Okay. This is all documented now. You can look it up. This, this stuff is like in in, in, in um, libraries, uh, highly, you know, uh, classified, great, you know, doc, high, uh, exquisite libraries, some kind of, you know, hidden library stuff. But you can look it up online, okay? His memoirs, everything, okay? And he, he was a Muslim. He was affluent um he came from money he spoke arabic fluent you know they even respected him because he looked like he came from um some type of power and wealth okay so he was even respected higher and he wasn't light-skinned he was dark-skinned he was fulani but he was respected higher than other um <clears throat> slaves okay because they can tell that he came from prominence so, enough of the foolishness. But anyway, God bless y'all in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ and figure out what race you come from because uh, you're all twisted up. But anyway, the rainbow, the rainbow, <clears throat> the rainbow represents all the colors of the nations, of the races of the world, and there is no superior race. And uh, I hear from Jesus Christ. I hear from Yeshua. Um, I'm a real prophet. I, I really hear from him, okay? Not this mimicking spirit that people are talking about these great so-called great people who are speaking no it's not real 